So here we are, I'm just making the incision, and this is basically a modified wisdom tooth incision. So I made it a little bit bigger than I usually do. Well, a lot bigger than I usually do, actually. I make really small incisions. Um, got in there, and now what I'm doing is using a high-speed, uh, well, well, actually, a, I would say an electric can piece, um, not high-speed. Um, it's a straight BN Air Cairo Pro L is the drill. And we're just exposing the top of the tooth there. So I'm using a 70, 703 Fisher burr right now and kind of making what we call a buckle trough, getting a little bit of bone out the way just so I can expose the top of the wisdom tooth better. And I'm just kind of basically going around the tooth. And at the same time, I know this is a pathology case, so you really want good visualization when you're dealing with, with pathology. So a little bit bigger incisions, wider exposures, because you want to be able to get all the path out. If it's the cyst, you want to be able to see as much as you can so you can get, you know, all of that stuff out. So I split the tooth, and when I, when you, when I split it, I heard it immediately. It didn't sound like a great split, meaning it didn't split all the roots, which I didn't think I would. Um, but it had that hollow kind of snappy sound, and that's just a piece of the, the distal piece of the crown. And I'm just basically taking it out in little segments, which is normal for something like this. And this is really most of the cystic lining. So this is the dentigerous cyst now that I'm removing, essentially most of all of it. There it is. That's that dark stuff you saw on the x-ray. Now I'm left with all the roots. And this is an interesting case because this wisdom tooth actually had, I think, four roots. And normally they have two. Um, this one had four. So... And the other thing is that two or three of the roots were right over that inferior alveolar nerve. So you'll see me in a little bit working around the nerve and just kind of getting those roots off of it. So I'm just using various instruments now to separate those root fragments. Now I switched my burr to a 701 long burr, which is thinner. And I can see pretty well here, I split the distal root. So that's what I did there. So I'm now taking the distal root out in a couple of segments, getting those pieces out. And now I'm working on the other roots that I see. Got that out or elevated enough to, to remove with the hemostat. In this case, a pickup and got that root out. So now there's still more roots in there. So normally these, like I said, these wisdom teeth have two roots. This one had like four. So I'm gonna keep kind of removing his many roots as I can find um, around this thing. And now I can actually see the nerve there. So normally when you're taking wisdom teeth out, you don't see the nerve, or sometimes you do, but most of the time you don't. Um, there's another root fragment there, root tip, I should say. And now I can actually see the nerve. And just behind the nerve on the lingual side, I see another root. So this is like the fourth root, I think. Um, it's kind of... it's It moves, but there's no great way I'm looking at trying to get it off the nerve and... You know, every time I push it, it's I feel it bouncing inferior, like I'm going to lose it in the canal somewhere, and that's what I don't want to do. So I don't want to push it further down, but I want something to be able to get it in at that angle to grab it out. So I'm trying various instruments just to see if I can grab it, but it's displacing it. I'm trying a probe now, a periodontal probe, which I, you know, periodontists love, I guess, and everyone really loves, I guess, but... I'm just trying that, and what do you know? Pop, it came out. Hey, I got lucky. So I think that's the last root there. Yep, got that out. Going to put that with the rest of the stuff. We're going to cement for path review. Wow. There you go. Clean everything out. Awesome. There's the nerve. Good picture. Um, it's hard to get a good picture of that thing in that area.